I'm waiting, Clown. All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with several. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on a mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wutai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibohan. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our 12! Let's go. the other. Was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had.
home sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. How did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away and all that. Uh huh. Shard Sangan, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Good. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Should you need my help, just say the word. I've been working on some new techniques. <laughs> huh? You went to my place? I figured you might be there. Everyone, please calm down. Remember my... Her name was... Fluffy, I think? Yeah. She was always disappearing. And that day was no different. You went into my room? I did. Did you actually play it?
You could have just left it alone, you know. <sighs> what were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. You went through my stuff? I know I shouldn't have. Cloud! You asshole! Then I stopped by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> Our reasons, huh? <laughs> Bet most of them had to do with you. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Welcome back. Sephiroth has already gone upstairs. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What are you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. Will do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited. Too... nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir! Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. 
I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin! Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah. I... Guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Yes, you really are the best there is. Shh. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. That was awesome! You think? If this is how it's going to be, it doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Is that Mako? Whoa! Sure, you can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> you better. Cool. See you at the reactor. It's a dead end! 
Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. This way. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. The reactor may have been around for a while. There are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako poisoning. Come on. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. He's in fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. <sighs> More Mako gas ahead. There's no way around it either. Just have to go through. Let's not waste any time. Mako, this thick is dangerous. spring it's beautiful <sighs> yeah but if we keep using Mako to power our homes springs like this will disappear right what are you talking about who told you that my dad and the mayor if you must know except the planet's huge Mako will never run out right naturally formed materia 
and look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... He is anything but... <laughs> we should press on. I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. Wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too, please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. You better keep me safe. Didn't 
expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last-gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem in this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako, all to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Eventually, 
We went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? Hmm. Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Don't know what B got in his bonnet, but the man was not in a good mood. Looking for Safara? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe. I saw Sephiroth making a beeline for the manor. Wonder why. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him headed toward the manor. Sephiroth wasn't looking so hot when he passed by. Everything's okay. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town, and older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole... Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. I knew it had a basement. It was news to me, too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. MEGL 77 1977. Genova, verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913-1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth, what you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. 
May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Need your help. Watch out! Please. Please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hold on, I'm, I'm coming. Get you up.
I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. I won't say that it was fair. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The Black Materia. Key to our oblivion. You should get yourself a reading! Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! <laughs> Don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Here, take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. The reunion. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet.